An international robotics competition at UIC is pitting local students against teams from around the world. WGN's Christine Flores talks to some of the brightest minds showing off their high-tech skills. Good evening. I'm wearing these glasses for safety reasons. While we are near the pit area, they are mandatory. This is the biggest robotic event taking place in the Midwest. Not only do we have teams here from local schools, including Chicago Public Schools, as well as Canada, South Africa, and Turkey. This is very much a sporting like atmosphere, complete with refs, as well as judges and students that are filled with team spirit and ready to take the lead. Each team built a robot that will compete in a series of games and challenges over the course of two days. There are these amazing robots that are flying all over the field, and it's got the energy of a basketball game or a sporting event, a major sporting event, uh, considering the size of the arena. The robots had to be about 150 pounds and measure up to six and a half feet tall. For two and a half minutes per round, the student controlled robots will play 10 knockout rounds of basketball scrimmage on a half court, with the top teams facing off in a championship round Saturday afternoon. There's definitely a lot of very cool robots, and they all have very cool mechanisms, uh, but we are also competitive, and I think we're our team is at a good place. Check out the action. During the rounds, there's lots of defense being played, and at times, that are being called as teams try to rack up points. Adjustments to the bots can be made as the competition rolls on. We've had to do a lot of adjustments. Like I said, it's saying with the wheels, uh, we started with uh, this row and this row right here covered in wheels. We had to take a, we took them off so it would go back in easier. Teams have been hard at work for the last eight weeks, overcoming a number of challenges. For the team from Turkey, that meant overcoming the impact of a 6.4 magnitude quake. For example, like uh, one of our team members lost many of her family members. We have a Syrian team, uh, all refugees. Probably they had like a lot of uh, family members deceased too. While all the students brought their competitive edge and cheering section, there's still a sense of camaraderie that is seen throughout the arena. It makes me like feel so happy that like everyone's so together, and it makes me feel like really excited because I know that there's a lot of people like me who enjoy robotics and love doing this. Well, the competition will go through tomorrow and the winner will head to the championship event being held next month in Houston. Reporting from the U of I campus, Christine Flores, WGN News. All right, Christine.